Hi, Aniruddh here. Can you tell me what is the output of this Java program? I am repeating again. Can you tell me what is the output of this simple Java program? If you see there is an array list. I have added two names ABCP QR over here. Got the iterator and iterating over the list. Just pause the video and write your answer in the chat box, comment box. What exactly the output of this program? It will run, fail, or you can see ABC, PQR, LMN. You will see over here, right? If I comment this line, if you expect the output as ABC, PQR, LMN, just write ABC, PQR, LMN. So, whatever it is, whatever your answer is, write it in the comment box. Just pause the video, think two minutes and let me know the answer. If you have faced such situation while developing your application, right, how you have solved this? What kind of things you need to take care over here? Well, for my fresher candidates, just try to think over here what is going to happen. And if you are an experienced person and you have encountered this scenario, well and good. Otherwise, stay with me till the end of this video because I am going to explain this part. Now, I hope you have written answer in the comment box. Fine. If not, look over here. I am running the project. Okay. Look again, just array list is there, two items has been added, got the iterator, iterating and the printing. Just run the project. So I am running the application and see what is the answer. And if you see, there is an error. If you see there is an error and here you can see java.util.concurrent modification exception. Now, what is a concurrent modification exception and why you are getting the concurrent modification exception? If you go line by line, here you say, okay, created, okay, added two things, okay, got the reference. Well, here, here you are checking item is available or not and here you are going to the next element and then you are going to add over here. Now, so when you talk about these iterators, iterator says that, well, I'm not going to allow you to modify the data source during the iteration. During the iteration, you are reading the data. And at that time, you say that I'm adding some data in the data source. And that's why Java says that or more precisely, Aralis says that. I'm not going to allow you to do this thing, right? Now you can Google out over here. And what is a concurrent modification exception, right? So first thing you will do this thing, you will Google and you will try to read. And then after reading, you will got something fail fast iterators and fail safe iterators. First, let me run the debugger. So, I'll put one debug, debug point over here and I'll put one debug point over here. Sorry, not here, over here. Two debug points I will add to this add and to this or over here. Let me remove this debug point. Okay. And see, I'm running the project. Sorry, I rerun it again. Just debug it. Well, I'm using IntelliJ IDEA. You can use anything, no problem. Now see here. Now see here, it's still running. If you see here, just wait. And what is happening behind the scene? So executed. Now I'm clicking over here. Next step, right? Again, I'm going. Again, it will start iterating in the while loop. And the moment I say next, it will fail. See, after this line, after it dot next, it will fail. See, program execution has been stopped. So, this line is killing your program. 
Now what is this line? Let's run the debugger again. And this time let's move inside, just step inside the code of this method. So it's running. It's running. Yeah. Now see, go to the next line, go to the next line, next line and here I will enter into the implementation and here you will see cursor dot size not equals to 2 ok then I will go inside this while has next again at this line it will jump into the code and can you see check for the co modifications so there is a one there is a one method which is checking the co modification if you go inside that method it is just checking the count which is 3 and the expected count mod count is 3 and expected count is 2 if you see it's 3 if you see it's 2 it is not equal and it is throwing the concurrent modification exception means the implementation array list doesn't allow modification right at the time of iterating at the time of traversal you cannot modify the source of the array list so next method says that thing the code is written in a next method now the exceptions are getting at the time of the traversal are called as fail fast iterators okay now how do you resolve this a very bad way of resolving this or a very costly way of resolving this is copy on write array list now see same thing we will run i'll run the application again and here you will find and here you will find see it's running there is no error and here you can see abc pqr element element why element element two times it has entered into the array two times it has entered into this while loop two times and that's why element element is two times now let us go to the debugger i have started application in the debugging mode and see now what happens why it is bad way or why it is a costlier way let me tell you over here and if you see here there is a next okay good go ahead go ahead go ahead now i will enter into the code can you see here cursor dot length cursor is less than the snapshot dot length then next has next it has entered into here and it dot next has next see there is no checking if you go over here and in the next method this is the array list source code and this is a copy on write array list source code well i'll talk about copy on write array list in a minute but if you see here if you see here in the add right in the add of the array list there is a check for the modification is available this is killing your application again if you go to the next just scroll below scroll below scroll below yeah next method can you see there is a check for modification now copy on write array list this is the next method now if you see this is the next method of this is the next method of this is the next method of array list and this is the next method of copy on write array list okay one more difference is there why for the copy on array list it is not failing and why for the this next in the array list it is failing answer is go to the add method add all add if you see check for the modification and go to the add method for this and here you will realize that something 
very costly is happening over here. First, you will realize that go to the add, add, yeah, add if absent, add if absent, remove if absent, only remove, only add. First, if you see it's a synchronized, which means that copy on right array list is a thread safe version. Another thing, if you see this line, new elements, see here you are creating new array. Here you are creating the new array. And if you see there is one method called as set array, which means that you are changing the data source over here. The value of the data source is not getting updated like this, but here data source itself is getting changed and that's why while running the program you don't get any exception well there is a copy on right array list and there is error list you get this question in the interview mark my words if you are presenting for the experience java interviews you will get this question well a lot of theory is available on the internet stack overflows right and the blogs like this they are explaining all these things but after explanation also you are not getting i highly recommend i highly recommend you guys to put the debug points and try to analyze the code this will help you hope you like this video and i'm coming with more interview questions like this for the freshers as well as the experience hope you have liked this video if you want more content like this please give me feedback in the chat in the comment box or chat box whatever thank you